at six. You saw the um, beginning of how this fits on my body, but we're gonna talk about the inside. If you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. I appreciate it. And always hit that notification bell so you know when I've uploaded my next video. This is the MAP crossbody. This is the one with the studs in the, they call it lambskin leather. It obviously doesn't feel like Chanel lambskin, but it's described as lambskin leather. I'm gonna show you what fits and the two limitations that I see with this bag. This is a very lightweight bag and it has two dog clasps. So that brings to one of the limitations, which is the only adjusting you can do with this strap is to use the holes. You're not able to get this dog clip to do much else. Even if you get it through like this, it's, it's not gonna do any good. Even if you clip it to here, it just shortens it that much. Well, the outside has this one pocket with the magnetic snap and the outside has this which can hold and i put a passport in here for example it can hold a couple of passports easily the inside has two slip pockets right here and so i put everything that i need upright in here magic marker pen jane Aradell lip gloss chanel lip gloss pen so all of these are upright and I'm able to close the top. You don't have to like a diagonal or anything. It fits right down into there. The other things that can fit in here are a six ring key clay, iPhone 7 Plus with a loopy case, Hermes Bastia coin purse, a full size Louis Vuitton Clemence wallet, a bottle of Wallatin, which is generic Claritin, a bottle of hand sanitizer, and of course, all my crystals. Voila! I'm gonna put all this back in and show you, and there's an inside zippered pocket that extends from side to side and all the way to the back. I don't use that at all. Let's see if the passport fits in that back. Oh, it does fit in there, which would be a lot more secure when you're on a trip. So we're gonna put everything back in here. And I'm gonna show you the second limitation. Otherwise, it's a great bag and I love it. It's really cute and a very useful. That's why it's called the morning after because you've gone out all night and now you've got stuff you gotta do the next morning, the morning after. Let's put all these pins back upright into the side here. And this is the limitation. So you're going to have to pick, like I always have to have my cell phone. So the cell phone always has to go in here. So you're gonna have to either pick, you can't have my sunglass case from Sume every day. Sure miss you Sume, hope you come back to this world of YouTube someday. This was a prize that she gave away last year that I won. So if I put the full size Clemens wallet and my phone and the eyeglass case, I cannot zip this close. If I put my phone in the back pocket right here, and I still wanna put the eyeglass case in here, I still cannot close the back. So you're gonna either have to pick between the eyeglass case or the full-size Clements wallet. Otherwise, it's a great bag. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and put them in the comments below. I love how Rebecca Minkoff designed a little cute D-ring here if you wanna put like a back charm or like I put this Louis Vuitton key pouch here. I think this Demi Azure looks so pretty with the black against the black. And this one was so worn out when I bought it that it is silver, so it kind of looks good with the silver. So what I put in here are my essential oils. This is Progestance. I love the smell of this. It's from one of my patients. Thank you, Angie. And this is the rollerball of essential oil blend that's great for foot, my foot pain. And that's it. So I just put in here so it's really easy to get to my essential oils. Well, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And see you again in my next video. I'll leave a couple of mod shots at the end. Thank you very much.